Sunday Rams and welcome back to WCU Weekly. I'm your host, Courtney Medwin. We're hoping to pick up right where we left off and give you everything you need to know in campus news and events. I hope you're all as excited as I am to be back in person. With us already being in our third week of the semester, we have a lot of news to recap, so let's get into it. Now celebrating its 10th year, the annual business idea competition at WCU welcomes those who have business startup dreams and big ideas to compete for prize money in the 2022 contest. Director Patty Diggins said, quote, this contest provides an opportunity for individuals and teams to explore new and exciting solutions through creative idea development. Submissions are due Friday, February 25th, so visit www.wcbiz.com to submit an entry. Why not give it a shot? Looking to make some money for your student organization? Student leadership and involvement wants you to be a part of their Rams Up, Mask Up, campaign to encourage proper mask wearing on campus. They are giving away $150 to the first five student organizations who create and submit a video to promote proper mask wearing. These videos will be posted on social media and your organization will be tagged. For our first show of 2022, we have Lauren with a sports update, Sherry with the weekly weather, a review on the lunchbox food truck, and finally Alyssa with org highlight. Let's see how our teams are doing so far. Take it away, Lauren. Hello, Westchester University. My name is Lauren Beachy, and we are so excited to be back on campus. This week in sports, we have a very busy schedule ahead of us. Monday, we start the week off with women's basketball versus Mansfield University at 5.30 p.m. This is a home game, so make sure you come out and support. Wednesday, February 9th, women's basketball will be traveling to Shippensburg University for a game at 6 p.m. This game will be available online to stream and listen to. Friday, February 11th and Saturday, February 12th, women's and men's indoor track versus Rutgers in New York City. We wish them the best of luck for this weekend. That's all we have for sports this week. I'm Laura Beachy, sending it off to Cherry with the weather. Thanks, Lauren. Welcome back, Rams. I hope you guys are ex as excited as I am to be back on campus and back in person. The weather this week looks to be promising as we see a rise in temperatures, so walking to class should be a breeze. Today will be a little warmer with a high of 43 degrees and a low of 29 degrees and some partly cloudy skies. On Tuesday, we will see mostly almost the same thing in temperatures with a high of 42 degrees and a low of 27 degrees with those partly cloudy skies still in sight. Wednesday will be mostly sunny with a high of 45 degrees and a low of 30 degrees. And Thursday, we will see an improvement with temperatures reaching up to 50 degrees and a low of 31 degrees with mostly sunny skies. Finally, on Friday, we will see similar temperatures with more partly cloudy skies. Take advantage of the warmer weather while you still can. This was Sherry Kavumi with your WC Weekly Forecast, and have a great week, Rams. Hey guys, my name's Sean. And I'm Ethan. And today we're reviewing the Lunchbox food truck on campus. The Lunchbox is a food truck on campus that a few of the older students at WCU may recognize from previous years. They specialize in Thai cuisine, and although their menu isn't very large, many of their options are customizable. The Lunchbox is a red food truck located on Church Street between the Schmucker Science Center and Anderson Hall. This week, Ethan and Sean decided to stop by to try out two of their lunch options. So, today I got the Pad Thai. And I got the Jolka Noodles and Five Dumplings. And, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start eating. All right, so uh, first impressions, this is really good. The chicken's really well cooked and the noodles taste awesome. The my fried dumplings are amazing. They're really fried nicely and the sauce, whatever it is, it adds a nice salty taste to it. I think it's soy sauce. I think it is. Oh, this is cold. Well, yeah, you sat there with it open I know. for like 10 years. I like cool food cold better anyway. Really? Yeah. Even noodles? Yes, I like anything that's supposed to be hot, I like it cold instead. Huh. Interesting. The sandwich was too warm, zero out of 10. <laughs> if it was cold and dry, it would have been good, but warm and dry, it's a no-go. I'd say for 
under $10, this is definitely not a bad deal. Yeah, for sure. The chicken's really good in my chunky noodles, and it's just cooked perfectly. Like, the noodles aren't too soft and they're not too hard, and it's, like, fried perfectly. All right, so here are our final thoughts. Uh, I thought the pad thai was awesome. It was really sweet, and there was a really good portion of it. Uh, I'd say I'd give it like a four and a half out of five. And my drunken noodles were amazing. I'm definitely gonna come back and get it again. I rated it a five out of five. Both Sean and I thoroughly enjoyed our food at the lunchbox. For myself, the drunken noodles would definitely be something that I would get again, and I'm sure Sean can say the same about his pad thai. To add on, the service was really good as well, which is just another reason to eat here. Overall, the lunchbox was a very enjoyable experience, and I definitely will go back. All right, guys, so that's going to be it. Make sure to tune in next time when we try out another place around Westchester. Try to something? <laughs> no. Okay. Looks like I might have to try the lunchbox next time I'm on Church Street. Hi, everyone. I'm Melissa Baker with this week's Org Highlight. This week, I want to focus on the National Association of Black Accountants. Their motto is lifting as we climb. The org aims to inform the student body on subjects such as financial literacy, budgeting, and much more. On Thursday, February 10th, they have an exciting event coming up. Drake vs. Nikki, Battle of the Sexes. This event will prove if it's God's plan that women are better or if the boys will take it all. Also, they currently have two open positions on their executive board. To apply and learn more about this amazing organization, head over to NABA underscore WCU on Instagram. Also, don't forget that this week, the virtual involvement fair is going on until the 18th. Find your slice of campus life by heading over to Ram Connect to check it out. While you're at it, check out all the events going on this week, like the Black History Month Social Justice Education Conversation Series, hosted by the Dowdy Multicultural Center tomorrow from 1 to 2. There's definitely something for everyone, so sign up for an event today. I'm Melissa Baker. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Org Highlight. Thanks, Alyssa. Well, that concludes another great episode of WCU Weekly. We have been super active on Instagram, so make sure to follow us at WC Weekly and check us out on Ram Connect to join our organization. Enjoy the rest of your week, Westchester, and we will see you back next Monday. Signing off, I'm Courtney Medwin.